Hello, hello, and welcome back. So today, turns out I crashed a wedding. <sighs> I booked onto this lovely tranquil campsite, supposedly, with a lovely lake and just acres of land. I'm right in the middle of a wedding. <laughs> I have no idea why they let me book, book onto it, but you know, here I am, and I am absolutely here for it. I just cooked this burger myself. I didn't steal it from the wedding. I really don't know why I was allowed to book onto this place. I'm surrounded by wedding guests. You can hear them. So much for my tranquil getaway. <laughs> but anyway, look at Storky. Look at that color. Oh, so much better. So happy with it. So, first of all, I'm gonna finish my burger. <laughs> I don't know what this finger's about. And then I'm gonna go for a nice walk and check out this lovely, beautiful lake that's supposedly here, which I'm guessing that's where they got married. Um, and it's probably gonna be for the kids at this rate. So it should be really fun. <laughs> On a positive note though, summer has arrived, a late summer, a September summer. So it's all good. So I'm going to have a walk through. It sounds bad, but that's the only way to the toilets is through the wedding. So not really that cool, but not much I can do. It should be fun. Stalky wedding. Stalky wedding. So this is where the van is. This is where the wedding is. And this is where the toilet is. I literally went to a wedding last weekend. Wasn't expecting to be at another one the following week. <laughs> Make the best out of a bad situation. I'm just gonna have to, well, they're gonna think I'm a guest. I have to walk through to use the like proper facilities. This is gonna be very interesting. It's like boardmasters all over again. <laughs> oh. Can you imagine this with no crowd screaming? I am actually having a really good time. I'm happy for them. It's a great place to have a wedding for sure. Beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna have a lovely afternoon. It's currently walking down to the lake and all the little areas that are here. I think they've got um, kayaks. They've got like a little gondola thing. Definitely gonna get in for a swim. So I'm looking forward to it very much. It's not really affected me the wedding not really it was just a bit awkward i didn't want to feel like i was in the middle of someone's wedding essentially so I might make some friends later could be fun and it it feels like 30 degrees right now so i am a very happy girl Ooh. so this i believe to be the camping pitch so I did see they had all these little secluded areas, which actually looks incredible. I wish I could take the van down here. So you've got your own pitch set away from it all. You've got a little picnic bench, fire pit. Oh, this would be perfect for the bell tent. I don't think I meant to buy the big bell tent. I used it a couple of weeks ago when I went to Boardmasters. But oh, this just feels like you're in the middle of nowhere in nature. This is nice, and I think there's quite a few of them, and I think there might be some near the lake as well. See, this is where I thought the van was going to go. <laughs> but to be honest, we've got more sunshine up there, so I don't know. I mean, it's only lose some. There's another one. Quite a big pitch, it's to be fair. Another one.
So I've made it to the lake and oh my gosh, how gorgeous. <gasps> Lily fell in. How gorgeous is this? The sun's behind the clouds at the moment, but oh my God, it is beautiful. Look at this. I have dipped my toes in. It's quite cold, but I think I'm gonna do a boat first. So I've got a kayak, I've got these little boats here. And there's no one else here. There is like a little lifeguard lingering around. But um say little lifeguard. <laughs> there is a lifeguard. So yeah, I'm not sure if it goes all the way around there, but it's beautiful. It's I feel like I'm in America. <laughs> Don't know why. I just do. It's kind of that setting, isn't it? I'm very happy right now, very much in my element. So I'm going to relax down here, just lay here like a plank, and then get on the boat. Yeah, I'm thinking this one. I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, how am I going to do this? I'm worried I'm going to drop my phone. I should probably put you on a tripod, but I'm just going to... Hold on a sec, I'm going to put you on a tripod. Okay. Ooh. Come on. Okay guys, I thought I'd just let you know that this isn't an actual natural lake, it is also a quarry. You can tell by the walls that they're not natural formations. I thought I'd better let you know because I don't feel like I'm in Cornwall right now. It looks like Thailand and I am loving it. <gasps> I've got a crash into a wall, oh my god. Okay. Oh, this is a good workout. Oh, I can't like, do things properly. <laughs> it's all like Ryan Gosling. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get on here. So I'm parked up. Don't know why I'm shouting. <laughs> And this is my view. So I'm just gonna park here for a bit and relax. Have my beer. Um, the sun's gonna go in a minute, so I wanna get in before it goes down. Well, that was lovely. I'll admit, I didn't swim. I spent a lot of time on that boat. And by the time I got in, the sun had gone down so I decided I'm going to go down in the morning and enjoy it. So for now, I am back at the wedding venue. <laughs> oh! He's like, stop filming. I think I might have just walked to the wrong direction into the wedding, but never mind. <laughs> Walk, walk back to my van. So can we just appreciate Stalky's new look? Oh my god, I love her. She's so pretty. I'm gonna get some decals along here so it doesn't look too plain. Gorgeous. Right, I've um just turned around and I'm being invaded. <laughs> I just had the shock of my life. Yeah, I'll put this down. Oh my god, he's gonna go to the van. So I was just like rummaging around, getting my food and my beer, I turned around and these are my face. Hello? Hi. Are you okay? How do you do? It's a stampede. Uh, 
being like super invaded, guys. Me and Mr. Peacock here. Okay, I think I'm clear of the Peacock saga. <laughs> I think they've gone into the wedding. Maybe they're guests. I don't know. Half an onion left from my burger earlier. So, as always, unusual, I have my burgers and sausages, which is an easy go to. I was actually expecting the cafe to be open because I thought it'd be quite nice, but they're closed and they're catering for the wedding, so it's fine. It's a good job I bought food. So, I'm just going to crack on and prep. Hopefully they've got a live band because that would just be the cherry on top. Food is cooking up nicely. I know I've got a lot, oh, but I didn't want to waste any because my fridge has been playing up a bit. But I'll definitely be snacking on that through the night and in the morning. It's all good. Getting loud in there. I'm not complaining. It's all good vibes. how I feel about this burger. Okay, so, the sun has well and truly set, and I'm feeling relaxed. Gonna set up the fight and pit in a minute. Got some bangers playing over there. Got a full moon in the sky. Life's good. Uh, I think I am one of the only people here that's not a guest at the wedding. There's some surfers in the corner and myself so it's okay i just feel like i'm intruding is all I feel a bit awkward let me get the fire pit started i've got my marshmallows always forget the marshmallows and i'm gonna get cozy and see what happens as for that lake how gorgeous was that like did not feel like i was in cornwall that's just like a really hidden little gem there really gorgeous I'm gonna get up early-ish and head down there and go for a swim because obviously I didn't go for one this afternoon because I thought I don't want to get like all wet and dirty before going into the van because I can't be bothered to have a shower. So save up for the morning. Oh, it's gonna be lovely, having a nice cold dip. So I'm in luck. I've just had a group of people come up to me asking me if I'm okay, where am I from, what am I doing here, and invited me in. So it's all good. I'm just finishing up my drink now. I'm gonna change out of this swimming costume and just venture on into the wedding. This is all very random, but it's all very fun. I don't know what the bride and groom will think about this, but they all seem pretty cool. And like about four of them just invited me down. So, yeah, that's my go ahead. So, I'm back at the van because I have officially been kicked out of a wedding. I am still feeling rather awkward. There's a, uh, there's me, the non wedding guest, just chilling. Heaven. So nice. It is scorching out there. I've actually had to retreat to the van to get some shade. Been out there since like half seven. I'm not used to this heat. It's been grey and cold all summer. So yeah, bring on September. This weather's lovely. Um yeah, last night was interesting, wasn't it? Very random. <laughs> Crushing a wedding. I was kind of like Anyway, I've had like five cups of coffee, just really soaking it up this morning. 
getting quite hungry now and I cooked all my food last night yesterday as you saw I think my eyes were a bit bigger than my belly so I'm gonna head down to the cafe which I believe is now open it was closed yesterday because they were catering for the wedding so I'm gonna go and get myself some breakfast brunch fill up head down to the lake I cannot wait to jump into that lake and cool down it's gorgeous down there and it might be a bit busy because the weather's nice and this place is obviously quite booked up but either way it'll be lovely again so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go fill up head down there and just oh, I picked the best weekend to come away So I've basically got the place to myself. I'm gonna go and jump in. Oh, oh see, this is nice. That was fun. I think I've like swallowed a lot of water. <laughs> Tasted pretty gross. The sun's coming back out. Oh, literally living the dream right now. Perfect. I could spend hours, if not days here. So peaceful. Um, I'd honestly love a home. Like, oh, I thought it was a fish. I'd honestly love a home. Like, oh, I thought it was a fish. It's a leaf. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that, but that was a huge, huge dragonfly. What the fuck? I've just got the neck of it again. It's really quite hard work. And I'm parking up at a pontoon. I'm gonna have a little sunbathe. The sun's gone in for a minute. But I'm gonna sunbathe, jump in, because it's really fun. And yeah, I've been, to be honest, I've been running away from a dragonfly. There's a dragonfly like about five inches big and it's following me. It is onto me. I think I'm, away from, I think I'm clear of it now, but been an interesting day. Tired myself up and now I'm gonna jump in again. <laughs> um it's actually it doesn't taste as bad. <laughs> so I spent the last half an hour chilling on that pontoon, jumping in. It's been great. But I'm ready to go home now, go and see Tom. And yeah, it's just been lovely. So I'm just gonna row myself back in, go up to the van, get ready and head back. So I'm back now and that was a really stressful drive. I somehow took the weirdest route back ever. I basically went from like one end of Dartmoor to the other end, right through it. I'm not sure. I did kind of want to do a scenic route but then my fuel light came on because it's a little bit temperamental. So I thought I was okay. Next minute, I'm like, okay, like another half an hour until fuel station. And the reason I was really stressed about that is because I've broken down on Dartmoor before and I've stuck there for about 10 hours waiting for the RAC. And I was like, I am not up for that, even though it would have been my fault. But anyway, I'm back now. And yeah, what a, what a weekend. It was fun. It was really a wholesome one. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Bit random. And I just want to reiterate that I was invited into that wedding after party. Party. Um, I didn't want to film it, of course. So yeah, just to clear that one up. Um, so random. So random. But, and also for people asking about Tom, we've like decided we like to keep our trips mostly private, just no cameras, no phones, just to enjoy our time. So, but I'm sure he'll be on here at some point. So anyway, I need to clean this van because it's a mess. I don't know why I'm so messy. And, I'm tired, so 
I'm going to head off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.